beautiful people welcome back to my channel today was like a video of like a simple makeup look that I have on right now with like a little bit of pop of color I'm going to the movies right now with my family so I just did this like really fast I didn't even put on like a full foundation routine I didn't put on eyelashes because I don't want to be like on heavy on makeup and everything but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe my favorite song currently is called humble by Kendrick Lamar I freaking admire that guy like he's a true iconic in the hip-hop rap industry and I really admire that guy So I'm gonna prime and moisturize my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I mean if you've been following me um, on YouTube lately then you already know that this is my favorite moisturizer so far it is so so good dude like it is so moisturizing and really good for the skin when I went to my trip to Vegas I was like why didn't I pack this in my bag like this is one of the things that I forgot to take and I just really like it so yeah so now going into foundation I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and I'm gonna shade ivory beige I've been loving this foundation so so much and I'm gonna use this brush for Morphe and it doesn't have a number which is weird what number could it be there's no number in it but it's a new collection that they came out with and it's like in this bronze um, bronzed up case which smells like spray paint <laughs> and I'm just gonna do like a light layer of foundation on my face because I really want this to be like really simple it's not gonna be like an all-out foundation routine or you know like a full face thing so yeah I'm just gonna go lightly with the foundation on my face especially on those red spots and like where I have imperfections on my face because I don't want I don't want like a really full for coverage foundation since I'm just gonna go out with the family but I don't really want like a full foundation cover I'm trying not to put the foundation underneath my eyes and like I'm putting it a little bit on my nose but not a lot a lot just because that's where I'm gonna go in the concealer and like I said I don't want to cake my face and you see like this imperfections that I have right here I think I'm gonna go over that with a beauty blender I'm going in with the concealer by NARS and it's one of their soft matte concealers and it's in the shade cream brulee that name reminds me of one of like the little candies from not candies or maybe like a Starbucks drink or something that's what it reminds me of can't really figure out what it is I like how instantly it brightens up my under eye so so nice but I feel like this concealer doesn't really cover fully my dark circles which I, it's kind of like a bummer that it doesn't really cover up my um my under eye circles under eye dark circles but I do like it to like highlight and stuff and are you guys seeing how I'm applying it like I'm picking it up with a beauty blender right off the pot I've been doing this lately and I think it's working out for me with, instead of like going in with a brush picking it up placing it on and then going in with a beauty blender i feel like just with the beauty blender directly is way better to apply it for me that's in my opinion i look so fucking white in camera and so pale but in my mirror i feel like my color is just like the right color but in camera i don't know why like i'm seeing on my monitor right now like i look so fucking pale but we'll fix that in a minute to set everything, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline powder, the Fit Me powder, and I'm in the shade 310. Actually, I'm gonna go with the, it's the same like powder, but it's in the shade 225. So actually, I'm gonna apply 225 on my face. I'm gonna apply it with another one of the um, new Morphe brushes and see how it applies it on my face. I hope it doesn't ruin the foundation. Let's just see what happens. like this actually applied the powder really nicely it doesn't even look like that flaky or anything that's really cool okay I'm gonna take that same brush I used for my face powder from morphe so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face at this moment and I'm using one of the new Marc Jacobs bronzer well it's not new but well yeah it is new it's like a new packaging and a new shade and it's in the shade 104 tantastic tan tantastic right 
fantastic and it's uh, one of the Omega bronzers and this has coconut in it or well, coconut water I don't know what it's called coconut oil but oh my god it's huge 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 bronzer and it smells like coconut I really like the smell of it but it's so huge that's like the hugest bronzer I ever had like it's as huge as my hand okay let's see if it's good oh okay okay I'm liking that and this brush is applying the bronzer really really nice oh instantly bronzed girl 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 oh girl bronzed not bronzed bronzed not bronzed I'm gonna get this fluffy shadow brush and I'm gonna bronze my nose too. Or yeah, contour my nose. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna apply some eyebrows. My eyebrows and what I use for my eyebrows are these Benefit pencils and this is the precisely my brow pencil in the number shade 6. This is the pencil that has like the really pointy tip and the other one that I use um, for my brows is this one, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and it's also in the shade number 6. This one's like the one with the triangle shaped pencil and this one I like to use it to shade in my eyebrows and this one, this one since it's more pointier and it's not in the triangle shape is the one that I use to outline my eyebrows and also to make that hair like uh, this is the one that I used to do the, like the hair like stripes in the middle part of my eyebrows and like the front part so yeah this too. and also to keep my hair down of my eyebrows this is it's also from benefit this is what I use and I know this is like a primer for the eyebrows but I use it like to like put down my little hairs of eyebrows and it's called the Bravo conditioning primer for eyebrows from benefit moving on to eyes I think I'm gonna do like a really simple makeup look um, I think I'm just gonna do like shades of light brown and like peachy shades so yeah cuz I'm just gonna go to the movie so yeah I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take this shade I'm gonna take the shade right here real gar or actually I'm gonna take the shade golden ochre ochre golden ochre um, just to like set my whole eyelid and I'm gonna use this this big fluffy um, eyeshadow brush from Morphe why don't these have a number on it but I know this so like this is from like a whole collection that I got but I, I just hate that they don't have numbers on it but whatever I'm just gonna pick that up and like set my whole eyelid just to have like a really nice base now I'm gonna pick up this shade called Raw Sienna and it's like a really nice light brown it's one of my favorite ones and I'm just gonna concentrate that on my crease I think this brush is too fluffy I'm gonna get a less fluffier brush I'm gonna get this other like fluffy blending brush from also the Morphe collection so I'm gonna pick up that shade Raw Sienna and again apply that on my crease Now I'm gonna blend that out so it's not too harsh. So I'm gonna get that big blending fluffy brush and blend that out. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up the shade Real Gar from that same eyeshadow palette and again apply that in the crease. And also like in the inner parts of the like on the eyelid, but at the same time I apply that in the crease. I really like the shades on this palette guys like it's one of my favorite pal palettes and I really really recommend this eyeshadow palette it's super super good the eyeshadow palette that I took over to the um, to the trip that I had to Vegas uh, was the 
peach palette by Too Faced. I know I have a whole video saying that I don't like the like the Too Faced peach palette, but that's the whole point why I took the Too, Too Faced peach palette because it was my first time flying on a plane, so I really didn't know like what I was able to bring and what I wasn't. So I technically brought makeup stuff that is good obviously brand makeup stuff but that i wasn't afraid or i didn't really care if one of them stopped me like the police or whatever or like the people that stop you in case you have something that's not able to fly with um so i brought that i should probably in case they were like oh you can't bring this um over which i don't know why they wouldn't but it was my first time so i was still i'm still like i was a newbie so and flying so so i brought that eyeshadow palette so i was like if they what if they saw me with an eyeshadow palette and i'm like shoot like which one should i take so i was like let me, let me just take the two face eyeshadow palette because if they stop me with it and they tell me i can't bring it then i can just leave it let them have it or throw it in the trash because I really care about that palette, but they ended up not taking anything away from me, so I'm still stuck with it. Now I'm gonna blend that in together. There we go. Now for my lower lash, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette, and I'm gonna take this green eyeshadow. That's called Gloom. I don't know, just to give a pop of color on my eyes. But I really don't want like a strong, like a blue kind of thing. But I do like the green one. So let's see how that goes. And hopefully I like this. Let me just clean up underneath my eye. I am going. Okay, that actually looks kind of good. Okay, I definitely, most definitely like this makeup look. I'm liking it so, so much. Let me get like a bigger, like, uh, like a more taped in blending brush and pick that shade up again and go again underneath my eyes. Oh, that is pretty. I'm liking that. Okay, now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. Whoa, the camera like just unbalanced really bad <laughs> definitely it's the palette so I'm gonna use the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Bray Hills uh, glow kit palette just cuz my camera is gonna go whoa my camera goes crazy <laughs> I think it's the lighting yep so that's what I'm using just to let you guys know because apparently I can't put it up to the screen so I'm gonna use this one of this uh, fluffy blending brush from again from the Morphe collection. I'm like trying all of their eyeshadow, like all of their um, brushes, just to see if they're good. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Forever Lay and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner of my eyes. And now for underneath my brow bone, like right here, I think I'm gonna pick up the shade. And let's try with Go Gooder. The highlighters are super duper chunky like you can see the specks of glitter and it has a lot of fallout that's the only thing I don't like but any everything else I freaking love with this glow kit like the shades the person <laughs> I love Nicole Guerrero but it's just like I don't like chunky highlighters that's why I only use it on my like underneath my brows and the inner corners of my eyes but I don't use it like on top of my cheeks because I like more of that iridescent or like the more um fine glitter highlighters like the more fine highlighters so yeah I'm gonna use this like big NYX Jumbo eye pencil well obviously it's white and I'm gonna line up my waterline with this shade I have no clue if I should put on lashes or not because I feel like with lashes it's too too much. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on so yeah that's what I'm gonna do. Now for blush I'm gonna use one of the Kylie Cosmetic blushes in the shade X-rated and of course I'm gonna use one of her blushes because they're freaking good and the shade is to die for. It's so good like it actually gives me like the, the natural finish. I freaking love it. And they're not like crazy pigmented so I can really pack it on the brush and apply it onto my cheeks so now 
now for highlight I'm of course using one of the Kylie Cosmetics highlighters and this is of course in cotton candy cream my favorite one so far so um, of course using a new Morphe brush again from that same collection that I've been using throughout this whole video <laughs> and I'm just gonna pick it up let's see how it applies on my face mm. Ooh, okay okay I see you come through come through Okay, it really applies it where you want it to be. Oh, this is really, really handy for. Oh, this is really, really handy for like a highlighter. That's a highlighter. Now for lips, I'm going to use this matte liquid lipstick in the shade Venus. I just bought this the other day. I really want to expand my collection in matte liquid lipsticks from Huda Beauty. Because I feel like the formula is so, so good. Like, I've been loving it so, so much. Yeah, I'm going to apply this for my lips. I feel like it's just a really, really, really pretty shade for my lips. And my little brother's in front of me laughing his ass off. Looking at me crazy. Talking to a camera. Yeah. I <laughs> just set my whole makeup in place and for it not to move I'm gonna set my face with the Urban Decatur all night mist <laughs> and that is all for you guys I hope you guys enjoy the final product now I'm gonna go get ready with my hair my clothes and everything and I'm gonna head over to the movies with my family so yeah I hope you guys enjoy please don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time bye and there you go guys this was just like a simple get ready with me video so yeah come 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 and this is my brother that was laughing at me the whole time because he he thinks I'm crazy for talking to our camera. Angel is no angel. Angel is a devil. I'm just kidding. You're a little angel. <laughs> angel, how old are you? Eight. And do you cuss a lot? No. Nope. You're gonna lie to my face and say you don't cuss a lot. No. He cusses. No. Every no, day no, no, no. of the week, 24-7, he kisses every second. Oh, no. One, two, three. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Myrna and this is... Fuck you. <laughs> this is fuck you. Hey, fuck you. How are you? Fuck you. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Myrna and this is... Bedeha. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Myrna and this is this is this is Angel, the little 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 oh, oh, piece of shit. Oh. My name's crazy. She's gay. Shall we? <laughs> Shall we?